this time, baby. All right. We are going to try to wrap up our fish today. And I'm going to fly through some stuff. So don't worry if you have to pause the video a little. Um, now, in an ideal world, we would have colored these fish in before we cut them out. But since we're doing this with videos, it just seemed easier to do that as a single step. So I'm gonna color my fish really quickly. I'm gonna fly through this before we get to the next step. So if you wanna color your fish, you can take a little time to do that. I'm gonna color them maybe with a cool little ABC pattern or an AB pattern. It could be a rainbow fish, it could be a patterned fish. Uh, but we're gonna color in our little fishy fish first. Both sides. Ready? Let's go. Now, we've got our fish double colored, he's looking cool. We're gonna add some fins to our fish next. So you're gonna need an extra piece of paper. And what I would do is I would draw them first, okay? You need probably um, the little flappy side fins. You might want a fin for the top of your fish, that's called the dorsal fin. And then you need some kind of tail fin. Um, you could even put a little bottom fin if you want. So I'm gonna draw just some little fins. And to do that, I'll draw a straight line. And then I'm gonna put like, almost like a U shape underneath it. I'll do the same thing and I want them about the same size. So those are gonna be my two little side flappy fins. I could put some little lines on it. And maybe I'll color those in um, whatever color I want. I could do them in a little pattern too. So let me color those real quick. So I got my two little side fins. I need a dorsal fin for the top. There's lots of ways you could do that. Maybe you want it to look like a shark and he's got a really sharp fin on the top. Um, you could even make these spiky if you want them to look more like a shark or a dolphin. Maybe you want a dolphin -y fin and he's got kind of a curvy one for the top. Or maybe you want like a kind of bumpy fin for the top. You can kind of pick your top fin and you can color that in whatever color you want it to be. Um, I'll just kind of plop these on real quick. But we can color those as well and make that look really cool. <clears throat> and the last kind of fin you're going to need is a um, tail fin. And your tail fin is a really cool place where you could um, kind of pick a different style depending on your fish as well. So maybe you want a more sharky looking fin. So to do that, it's almost like um, if you draw like a spiky letter M. <laughs> See how it looks like a letter M? You can make a little tail fin like that. Or you could have a more flowy fin like a beta fish or whatever kind of fish fin you want. It could be more of one of those little curvy ones. There's lots of different kinds of tails as whales. So with your tail fin, um, I'll show you something about that too. So we're gonna chop that bad boy out. If I can find my scissors. Scissors, scissors. <laughs> Found them. So I'm gonna cut these bad boys out real quickly, just cutting along my lines. Now that we have those puppies cut out, you can attach them to your fish. So what I'm gonna do is I want one little fin here. I could just put a little line of glue on it, like, and stick it on. 
and you could even fold that a little bit so it comes outward. See, flappy, flappy. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You wanna try to make sure they're in a similar place. So, stick that bad boy on about rock chair. It's pretty similar, maybe I'll come back just a little bit. I've got my little sad fins. Okay, now for your dorsal fin, the fin on the top, here's the thing that's kind of weird about it. When you stick it on, I could just put a little glue right on the top of my fish to stick it on. It looks pretty cool when you stick it on, but if you flip it on the other side, you'll notice it's not colored in. So you probably do want to um, color the other side. You might want to do that once it's um, more dry. I'm just kind of doing it now to um, have it nice on the video, but it would be better if that was dry first. You saw how it was kind of moving on me when I colored it in. So I've got my dorsal fin on top. I can um, glue on my tail fin. Now, I didn't even color that one in, but you probably would want to color your tail fin in. I can stick that on the back. And I've got my little tail fin. You could put your cute little bottom fin on. And again, you'd have to color the other side. But I've got my cool looking fish so far. Now my fish doesn't have a mouth yet. We're gonna get there. But first, we gotta feed him. <laughs> What we're going to do is your little fish's mouth should open up nicely if you um, glued it the way I showed last week. So you're going to stuff your fish so that he gets nice and fat and puffy. You could stuff him with paper scraps and you might have to do kind of small ones because if they're too big, they won't fit in his mouth. But you could stuff him with paper scraps Oh, you hungry, baby? You want some food? No, 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 no. <laughs> and if you crumble them up, it will make them a little puffier. But you want to keep feeding your fish. And as you feed your fish, he's going to get fatter and fatter. So I'm going to take a minute to feed him real quick. Another thing you can feed your fish with, if you have grocery bags, these are excellent because for one, they fill up some nice space, and for two, they make a really fun crinkly noise, which you could turn your fish into your cat's new <laughs> favorite toy pretty easily. So you can also stuff your fish with old grocery store bags. It's a good way to recycle them into something cooler so we can stuff our little fishy's mouth with recycling bags. Just be careful not to rip your poor fish when you're carefully sticking it in. You might have to kind of twist it to make it be a good fit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Puff your fish up and stuff him with more and more food. He's gonna get more and more 3D. The final thing your little fishy needs are some fishy lips. To do that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a cute little heart shape. Like this. Boop. <laughs> cut out a little heart. When you're finished stuffing your fish, you can put a little glue to close his little mouth hole. And then we'll stick the little lips in and seal our fish close. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. So we can, I need a little more glue in there, a little more glue. We can seal our little fishy's mouth, let that dry, and you've got a really awesome puffy fish. I hope you guys had fun making your fish, and I can't wait to see what they look like.